tackled by Warriors captain Will Butler. Oh, it's been intercepted, and the race for the line is not really a race. It's Billy Searle. And he has plenty of time to celebrate that in his own mind and then with his teammates. And Worcester from nowhere with the interception and Billy Searle's first try. It's a crack and read, but for me it's so laboured from Bath right from the get-go. There's an energy again about this Bath attack through Boyce. Mercer looking for some kind of immediate response. Chudley and the try will be scored by Ellis. So much energy and the quickest of Bath responses. Tom Ellis with the try. Bath are within touching distance of the try line. Make sure we arrive up. Mercer launches himself Good once day, more into Fancy's offside. Blue scrum cap, number five. Bodies of those Worcester defenders. James Scott yeah. offside, but it might not matter. Right. Bath make absolutely sure this time. The celebration belong to Elliot Stook. Uh, a thousand fans will be let into King's home for the first time since lockdown, so rather like the stoop last weekend. King's home will get some real live spectators uh, in the shed and dotted all around the ground next Monday night, 7 o'clock with us on BT Sport 1 HD if you don't get a ticket. And then next weekend, Europe's back. Champions and Challenge Cup quarterfinals every game uh, with us on BT Sport. Oh, charging away goes Ed Fiddo. And Fiddo scores. Really poor drills. You speak to psychologists, the, the time where you're most likely to lose concentration is straight after you've just scored. And a throw for Jack Walker. Gathered by Stook. Matavesi adds his bulk to it. Saw Bristol doing this to great effect last night against Northampton. Gabriel Hamer webs there as well. This looks a mighty difficult thing to stop. Elliot Stoop trying to guide it over the line and it's happened. There was a blue, black and white inevitability about all of that for so long. From the moment that Walker gathered from the line out that he started, there was hard to see a way that Worcester would stop that and they didn't and Bath have a third try. Post protectors no longer helping the attacking team, they have to find clear try line. But that object getting closer and closer, it's spun away and now it is found. And what a start to his Premiership career, young Tom de Glanville is having. Just like his dad, he's scoring Premiership tries. It's the details in what they're doing for me at the moment. This guy, Max Clark, he's the one that really got that punch. Chudley told to get on with things. His judge. Stoop lining up on this blind side. They might be a little bit soft, Worcester. And Elliot Stoop forces his way through a defence that wasn't really there. For try number five. So soft, all of it. From the first penalty to the second is and it's the takes another water break. But penalty penalty line out, a couple of drives and this. Rock and Gooney. It's been stuck on 50 premiership tries since December, since he scored against London Irish. He's long overdue. And he's set up this latest position for Matavesi to try and work <laughs> on as well. Oh, he's gone through on his own. Josh Matavesi, ender of worlds, destroyer of walls. What an option he is at 10. It's class, isn't he? And everyone loves him because he enjoys his rugby. They've worked really hard, haven't they? Haven't been at their best, but obviously that man there will be very happy.